In December 1944, Waffen-SS division spearheaded Hitler's final offensive in the Ardennes. It failed. And with his last reserve spent... Waffen-SS troops left behind them the bodies of 86 American soldiers who had surrendered and then been shot. When the British came across Belsen concentration camp on the 15th of April 1945, they found 28,000 women, 12,000 men, and 13,000 unburied corpses. Those apparently responsible for these horrors wore the field grey uniform of the Waffen-SS and carried identity papers which confirmed that they were indeed members of the Waffen-SS. In April 1941, Himmler had, for administrative reasons, decided that the concentration camps, their staffs and their guard units were to form part of the Waffen-SS. Ich heiße Franz Hessler. Ich heiße SS und der Scharfführer Wilhelm Dörr. SS Oberscharfführer Friedrich Herzog aus Dortmund. Ich bin der Unterscharfführer Adolf Wilmchen. Die SS aus den Hertha Bote. Ich bin seit dem 1. März 1945 im KL Bergen-Belsen. In an endless stream, the battered remnants of the once mighty Waffen-SS sought refuge from the Soviet army with the British and Americans. With Hitler dead in the ruins of Berlin, Germany capitulated unconditionally on the 8th of May, 1945. Cocky and arrogant, the Waffen-SS felt that having done their duty for Führer and Fatherland, they would now be allowed to go home. As they streamed back across Germany's frontiers, millions of German soldiers suddenly became the responsibility of the victorious Allied armies. As far as the Allies were concerned, anyone in SS uniform, even a conscripted foreigner, was a war criminal. So the Latvians attempted uh, to surrender to, to whoever was in front of them, to Americans or, or to, to the British troops. And uh, when they surrendered, they were taken prisoners and regarded just as, as, as German SS men, which, uh, of course, upset the Latvians no end. And uh, the, among the Latvian officers, there were quite a number who spoke fluent uh, English, and they explained the situation, but they were not believed. And so the Latvians, at the beginning, were treated exactly as, uh, as uh, German uh, Waffen SS men, uh, put in the same camps and uh, given the same treatment. The occupation forces segregated all SS men, even those like Wolf Senderle, who had been thrown out of the SS in 1934. Shortly after my return in May 1945, the Nazis were taken to Mauthausen to the former concentration camp, and we were taken to St. George, which was a subsidiary camp a few kilometers from Mauthausen. But it had more or less the same layout as Mauthausen. Then, after we got off the trucks, the American officer explained to us in German, Today you have the opportunity for eight hours to look at what your highly honored Führer Adolf Hitler bequeathed you. Then, immer two or three men. 